Hey there, my name is Jessica from Peterson SEO and earlier you guys spoke to my partner Jeff and requested this free video. So today what we're going to do is go over just a few tips you guys can start applying right away and it's really going to help with your online presence as well as getting more organic leads so you don't have to rely on expensive lead programs like Angie's and Home Advisor. Now, it is important to note that nearly 70% of your organic leads are going to come from this website. So it is really critical your website be properly designed and optimized so you can capture that traffic. All right. Um, one of the first things I notice is your phone number click to call up top and quote. That's awesome. You want to make it as easy as possible for your customers to reach you and you have a limited attention span to to capture their attention. So this is great. Um, you also have a separate page for each of your major services. This is also really good. Um, if you can break some of these out, I know concrete, landscaping, hardscaping, remodeling, um, some of these can be broken out into additional categories. And I would do that because that is going to allow you to focus on that specific category, write content, and focus on the local keywords for each of those because there's a ton of potential search volume for those keywords so that you can be um, capturing that traffic organically, bringing them to your website, and converting them into customers. Um, when it comes to websites, it doesn't matter what it actually looks like. It actually comes down to content content here is key and you do need a lot of it. Um, you're going to need more than what your competitors are doing and Google really likes about 1500 words or more, um, but it needs to be focused around your business and your services and those local buyer intent keywords. Those are the keywords people are actively searching in Google for those services. So that's going to be really key here. Um, Okay, so these don't appear to be interlinking. Um, I would interlink those to your service pages. And while I am seeing a little bit of content, I'm not really seeing any content focused around your keywords. Um, national keywords are great only if you're servicing the entire country. If not, you do need to stay focused on local keywords. Yes, it has smaller volume, um, but those are going to be the ones that convert into customers. Focusing on national keywords, even if you do rank, and they're much harder to rank, but even if you rank, a very small percentage, if any of them, will be local. And so the people will land on your site and leave because you can't help them. So you do need to stick to local traffic. If we look at your top competitor in Albuquerque, we have Lambert Construction. Um, their website is okay. It's not fabulous. Looks like they really only have two remodeling services, kitchen and bathrooms, um, they, but they do have a separate page um, that does allow them to build content specific to those projects. Um, I like that they have the click to call on top. Um, a little bit, a little bit of content, not a whole lot. They have some images. Um, yeah, no, no real local keywords going on here either. Uh, just add as a quick look. It looks like a website that would be super easy to outrank, uh, but you would have to work on your content and keyword strategy. And then you're going to want to support your website with SEO because without search engine optimization, you're not going to be found online. So if we take a look here real quick, you have a score of zero out of a hundred in Google's trust flow, meaning Google doesn't trust your website. That's a hundred percent based on your backlinks and referring domains. You really don't have any. Um, and while you do need a lot of these, not all are created equal. Not every type of link will work for every type of business. You need to stick to authoritative do follow links. Um, and if we look here, you only have three that are do follow. So you actually only have three 
um, links, doing anything remotely to help your website. You have been indexed with 35 keywords, but you're only getting an average of eight people per month to your website. So you're missing out on a ton of potential customers. Um, if we look at your keywords, contractors, Albuquerque, New Mexico, that's a good one. Albuquerque contractors. So you do have a couple that are good local buyer intent, um, but most of the others, when you're looking at branding and some of the other ones, those are national keywords. And even though it's a brand, most people search by service, not by brand. And it's a national keyword, so it's actually not going to do anything to help you. Um, if we look at your competitor, they have a rating of a 10 with 172 backlinks and 43 referring domains. Of those, only 25 are do follow. So you do need to do better than their 25 do follow links in quantity and quality. They've been indexed for over 60 keywords and they're getting 137 people to their website. Their website is not great, not very well optimized, but they're still getting more traffic. So it is going to be really important that you optimize your site, um, create additional pages for service areas or um, additional services so that you can drive that traffic. And then the last part of this is going to be your Google My Business section or Google Maps section. 30% of people search here in the maps and don't go anywhere else. So if you're not listed in this top three, you send all those leads to your competitors. Now, in order to get in the top three, there are several factors, but the most important is going to be your citations. And that's going to be the name of the business, address, phone number, and website. Listing those in a bunch of directories like Yelp, Yellow Pages, and Glassdoor. So you will need a lot more of those than your competition. But when you follow all these tips I have provided you today, your website does have the opportunity to be number one on Google in your area for each of your services. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful and would really love to get your feedback. If you have any questions, go ahead and give me a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.